Oh, look at that fat cat. It's crazy. That is a spiny tailed iguana, I think. Yes. Oh, and there's a diamondback snake. He doesn't, he is sleeping. A rattlesnake. Kind of boring, but I'm in here because I don't want to go in the room with all the spiders. Oh, he's moving around. This is a red diamond rattlesnake. Native to Baja in Southern California. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. I'm in the snake room. Don't bother me. Hello. Hello, sir. He's talking to me. Look, this one is moving around, Mom. He's having, oh, yeah. we're having a discussion. Oh, that's a, that's a diamond bat right there. Those are the deadly ones. Well, there's a lot they of They rattle and ones. they snake. Oh, scared me. <laughs> it really did oh, frighten wow. me. I went, cool. my, the glass wasn't as close as I thought it was. Your hand's in the way of the snake picture. I'm going to charm him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I chased one one time with a shovel. There's a little itty bitty one. That's a, um, Sonoran Desert. Sidewinder, you can see all of his tracks up in there. Those are the real poisonous guys. Really? Yeah. These guys are really fast, too. The Sidewinders, they are really fast. They're not poisonous, I don't think. There's a rosy boa way back there. He's not very friendly. It's another wow. well, it's king snake. snake. Huh? An alligator lizard. It's a king snake. See him? Oh, he's cute. Amber's not afraid of the snakes. I don't mind snakes. I hate spiders. I hate them so much. Oh, where's the guy? Where's he? Oh, there he is. Under the rock. It's a whip snake. Hi, whip snake. That's right. I hope you aren't as mean as your name makes you sound. Hey, honey, look at this boy. I know, I saw him. This guy's really moving around over here. I've never seen a snake like that. Brown vine snake. It looks like a worm. South Central Arizona. Wow. Habitat is threatened by the destruction or degradation of rip riparian areas. I don't know what I mean. People invading the Snakes. He's gonna get in the water. It's slide rock. I'm going to use it. Yeah. Hi, buddy. I'm taking a video of him. Oh, he just said hi to you. Hi. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's friendly. Look, he's, or he's territorial and wants me away from his house. Yeah. Probably territorial. You know what I love about? Ooh, it's magic. Actually, no, it's not. I can see there's a little thing right there. It says, please do not touch the display. I'm touching the display. I'm touching the display. Ruined the illusion for you. Ha ha. These have funny names. Colorado squawfish. Wound fin. Wound fin. Bony tail chub, humpback chub, razorback sucker. Oh, now that is a gem of a name. That just sounds so inappropriate. They're all in there. That's pretty cool, though. There's slurping mud in here. What's a slurping mud? It's a mosquito. 
Oh, right, it's not them with mosquitoes. It's what they do. They slurp mud. Mosquitoes love to slurp mud. You know why? Why? I'm waiting for you to read that to tell me. Print's too small for me to read it. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. The butterflies, mostly males, are collecting amino acids, salt, and other materials that have accumulated in the soil, which may even be urine soaked or have traces of dumb. Dung, excuse me. This Crap. behavior is known as puddling. Puddling? Later, when it mates, the male butterfly passes sperm as well as, quote, quote, accessory materials this containing is really, this is getting these soil leaving. substances and various other nutrients, sometimes almost 10% of his body weight to the female. It is believed that these additional materials improve the female's chances of surviving to lay all her eggs. Some materials may even be passed directly through her eggs, and that, my friends, is the birds and the bees. That is disgusting, is what that is. <laughs> Sounds like something else. Yeah. Honey.